one zero 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 that's a lot of zeros hey what's up guys my name is Unlock Fox and welcome back to my channel the last chocolate fact video had my mind blown like seriously the fact that men won't buy their wives or whoever a chocolate with another man's name on it I still think about that once a week like it, it's it has my mind blown so we're gonna have our mind blown once again let's take a look at some more chocolate facts chocolate sales in 2014 were 21.1 billion dollars give me all the money i need to start a chocolate factory during the aztec reign a slave could be bought for 100 cocoa beans oh my god they had no worth 100 cocoa beans like a hundred cocoa beans could fit into the palms of my hands. I mean, you can't even buy a coffee from that many beans nowadays. <laughs> Making chocolate takes about 400 beans to make a single pound of chocolate, and yet you can buy four servants, slaves actually, you can buy four slaves from that many beans. Which one would you prefer? The chocolate, of course, because slavery is horrible and terrible and don't do it. Cacao trees can live up to 200 years old, but they only make weighable cacao beans for just 25 years of their life. Leave them to make some oxygen, please. Chocolate is the only edible substance to melt around 93 degrees Fahrenheit. How much is that in centigrade? I'm a centigrade person. Just below body temperature. Okay, that's around 73 degrees Celsius, causing it to melt easily on your tongue. Melted to the core. Chocolate cravings have been proved to be unable to be satisfied by anything other than chocolate itself. I feel like this article was written by like some chocolate company, like Cadbury probably. They're like, come over, snatch all the bars you want, pay us the bucks. We're gonna have $21.1 billion in 2014. We want to beat that number. One in seven, 15 to 20, those are too many numbers for my liking. One in seven, 15 to 24 year olds claim life without chocolate is not worth living. That is a that is a one in seven is a good percentage. Wow, I can live without chocolate because I'm I'm not addicted to anything. I'm one of those boring people. More than twice as many women than men eat and crave chocolate. Of course, I've never craved chocolate. By the way, I've never craved it. I'm so sorry. I'm like it is against the rule of can be can say feminism, not feminism. Like the women set of rules, it is against that, but I, I never crave chocolate. I never crave things. I do crave them sometimes, but I never crave chocolate. Milton Hershey, the creator of the Hershey's Chocolate Factory Company, started his empire in candy. He founded his first company, the Lancaster Caramel Company at 30 years old. And I'm 17 and I feel like I'm a failure. Like 30 might work out for me after all. Five tons of chocolate is enough to make 24,000 Terry's chocolate oranges. That is a lot of Terry's chocolate oranges. Like they're literally this size, the size of like a tennis ball and five tons and 24,000 of them out of just five tons. Never had them, who am I to know? Daniel Peter created milk chocolate in Switzerland in 1874 after mixing chocolate with condensed milk. But then again, who am I to talk? I don't even know what five tons of chocolate would look like. Like if they are here, I wouldn't even know how, how much the amount would be. Surface area, volume wise. Following eight years of trial and error. Eight years and now we can have it for eight years without even caring. <laughs> The biggest chocolate sculpture ever made was 10 foot high, Easter egg white, weighing 4484 pounds, that is 2034 kilograms in Melbourne, Australia. Wow, that's an Easter egg. Who would have ate that? How would you, like, how would you cut it into pieces? That is insane. If all the Toblerone bars, Toblerone, what is that? Bars sold each year were made to be laid end to end. They would stretch 62,000 kilometers. That is 38, 525 miles for all y'all Americans out there. This is longer than the Earth's circumference. Of course it is. Otherwise, you wouldn't be talking about it. The amount of chocolate a country eats on average is linked to the number of noble Laurentis that country has produced. What is that? Noble Laurentis. I have no idea. I'm so dumb. In 209. 
Thank you for interrupting me. I said that wrong. In 2009, 7.2 million tons of chocolate was consumed worldwide. That is not a lot of chocolate considering you made 21.2, 21.1, 21.1 billion dollars. And that was five years later. In the pre-Columbia era, possible dinosaur fossils were ground and... Excuse me. In the pre-Columbian era, possible dinosaur fossils were ground and mixed with chocolate. You're gonna give us that rotten, rusted calcium? Yes, I said it. It's calcium, not calcium. Blue packaged chocolate doesn't sell in Shanghai or Hong Kong as a Chinese relate blue with death. I thought they related black with death. Like I've read those New Year sort of like the Chinese New Year sort of topics in the history chapter. They used to relate black with death and red with success and stuff. So blue, wow, that is interesting. I've never seen someone who relates blue with death. It's what, what do we have black for? Dan's Chocolate Factory offers a chocolate covered bacon burger and apparently it's not too bad, not too shabby. Cocoa butter is a byproduct made from crushing roasted cacao beans as well as in chocolate. It's also used in cosmetic products including massage oils and skin cosmetics. It's one of the most stable, highly concentrated natural fats and is as it melts at just below average body temperature. It's easily dissolved into the skin, perfect for moisturizing creams and other products. The Vaseline cacao or cocoa butter lotion is the best thing ever. That is all I'm gonna say. It's the best thing ever. Despite being high in fat content, chocolate doesn't seem to raise blood cholesterol. I'm gonna make my grandma eat chocolate. She doesn't like chocolate. I'm gonna make her eat chocolate and I'm gonna be like, your blood cholesterol is not gonna go high. I don't think she has high cholesterol, but I'm still gonna say it because we gotta get some chocolate into her. America consumes almost 50% of the world's chocolate, of course. America just has to be in here. They're just going to consume all the possible chocolate. Fireworks. In quarantine, we're having fireworks. The first cocoa trees were found in the Amazon River Basin and the Venezuelan and Colombian Andes. I have no idea what those places are. I'm so dumb. Chocolate produces the effect of a mild antidepressant by increasing serotonin and endorphin levels in the brain. I need chocolate right now. I'm having a very stressful day. I'm going to talk about it. We need to talk about it. Although not scientifically proven, chocolate is believed by many to be an aphrodisiac. I'm a pre-med student. I have no idea what that is. Bravo, girl. You are going to be in med school next year. Japanese women give chocolate hearts to their loved ones on 14th February. Oh, because, you know, normally men do that. The men a month later return the gesture on Hawaii White Day. The world is full of festivals. Tuak chocolate is one of the most expensive chocolates in the world. Each 50 gram, 1.7 ounces bar is in a handcrafted Spanish elm wood box individually engraved with the bar number. Imagine it's like the billionth bar like what are you gonna do then you'll be like one zero 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 that's a lot of zeros in the original psycho film the blood in the famous shower scene was actually chocolate syrup chocolate syrup does not look like blood i just had it today i had oreos dipped in chocolate syrup and two minutes ago i was saying i could live without chocolate on 6 December, during the Feast of St. Nicholas, children in Holland put their clogs outside at night so Santa can fill them with chocolate money. Their, their parents did that, I, I believe. Or, or imagine the government doing that. That would be so dope. Can't even imagine that in our country. 7th July is National Chocolate Day in the UK. Why, why did nobody tell me about that? We could have celebrated it. The day marks when chocolate was first brought to Europe on 7 July 1550. Some credit Christopher Columbus with his feet in 1505. 1504, sorry. International Chocolate Day is on 13 September and that is coming up, oh my god. And some celebrate National Bittersweet Chocolate with Almonds Day on 17th of November. I actually sprinkled some salt on that chocolate syrup too because it tastes pretty good. 
the world's largest box of chocolates weighed at about 2,002 pounds or LB's pounds. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not American. 908 kilograms. It was made in Chicago, USA. Oh my God. You talk of the US and the US comes. It's like Bloody Mary. And contained frangle mints. People love mint chocolate chip, ice creams or oatmeal. I've never had it. I'm so, I'm like, I'm, I'm such a, I'm such a boring person. I haven't had a lot of things. It just goes to show that I'm normal. There are two types of cacao trees. They wrote that wrong. Most chocolate cones from Forastero beans, which are said to be easier to grow, but the Crillo beans make much tastier chocolate. Which one would you prefer? The American pancakes, which are harder to make, or the British pancakes, which taste better, but don't look great. <laughs> I don't know why I'd bring that up. I'm actually done with this video. Like this took less than any video I've ever done. I'm so happy with myself. So that was it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. No, wait. I have to tell you that, that stressful story. I have to get some chocolate. Let's eat some chocolate together, ladies and gents. The fireworks are still going on, probably. <laughs> celebrating my sadness but there it goes that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it. and if you did click the like button also comment below and let me know what other sorts of videos you would like to see on my channel and check out my three other channels there is a comedy channel i just uploaded a video types of sanitizer users it's really good video then there is lnf fox which is a style and how-to channel and then there is lnf vlogs where i upload edits you should go and check all out and there are my social medias there is lnf underscore fox which is my own instagram there is lnf fox which is my meme page i love it and then there is lnf fox which is my twitter so make sure you go check them all out i'll see you in the next video bye why would i get that bye oh actually wait